reports today that the um, ECOWAS have decided to invade Niger. Ni um, what is your opinion on this? Uh? Well, thank you very much. I believe that President Tinibu is not president of ECOWAS. I, I saw a press conference here in Washington DC that um, the president of ECOWAS have declared that the Kowas service chiefs should move to war. And that is not Nigeria, but I'm still having my reservation that Nigeria should join the Kowas to go to war. Because if the Americans want to go to war, they should use their troops. They have almost 3,000, 4,000 troops there in Niger. They don't need to say, we will give you money, President Tinibu, we will give you arms, just go and fight. It is dangerous to fight in our backyard. You don't know where this fight will end. Nobody knows who is sponsoring this fight. I think the advisors of President Tidibu, which I'm also one of them, will continue pleading on him not to join that fight. Since Nigeria Senate have already said, no, you can't go to war, and he needs authorization of the Senate to go to war. So I, I, I don't think it's a good idea to go to war. What they should go to the joint task to do now to put a democratic, a democratic process plan. They should give us a plan for one year, six months, two years plan to return to the civil, the civil democratic process. Since they said the president of Niger, President Bushong, have already resigned. Let us take it like that. This thing happens once in a while. And um, I, I don't think any Nigerian soldier's head is good enough to be king for, for another country. It's not our war. It's an internal affair. It's an internal problem of the Niger people. I hope my president and my friend and my uh, brother will understand that this is not our war. We have nothing to fight those people for. I, I want him not to listen to the US. I'm a friend of the US. I'm a friend of Israel. I'm a friend of UK. This is the first time I would like President Tinibu to disobey the U.S. It's not the right thing to do. We are not going to go to war. Let the U.S. and Nigeria and France have a transitional program for the for, with the soldiers. They are Niger, they, they are they are, Niger, they are Niger people. They are not outside from there. So let them plan transition in peaceful diplomacy uh, agreements and all the rest of them. They they should reach an agreement concrete agreement to return to civil rule. I'm not thinking they're going to war with Niger. One, they're our blood brothers. Secondly, it is very dangerous. You don't know who will join the war. They might invade Nigeria. We already have a lot of uh, problems with uh, uh, our minerals along those borders. And nobody should attempt taking us into war. We cannot go to war with Niger. At all, at all, it's not the right thing to do. We must pull out of ECOWAS. If it means pulling out of ECOWAS, Nigeria should pull out of ECOWAS. If that is ECOWAS decision, we're a sovereign nation. Nobody can toil with 250 million Nigerians. It's not possible. So I still plead, and it's just I'm in Washington. I could have gone to see President Tinibu. I still plead with him not to join the war. He's, he's chairman of ECOWAS, yes. They also have a role to play to say, I'm not going to go to war. The United States wants us to go to war. France wants us to go to war. Why don't they put their soldiers and go to war? We'll give them the money to fight. Let them go to war on their own. We cannot go to war. This war is in our backyard. I plead with the president to listen to the voice of president. The Senate have said no, and I'm joining the Senate. I wasn't in the Senate now. I was in the medicals and uh, I still join the majority of Nigerians telling President Tinibu not to go to war for the sake of brotherhood and sake of Africa. Please. Oji Uzakalu, the senator representing Abia North Senatorial District in the National Assembly, has urged President Bola Tinibu not to use military action against the Niger Republic's junta. In a video shared on his Facebook page, Kalu warned the president not to let the United States of America, USA, and France force him to make military intervention 
in the Niger political crisis. Carlos said the political crisis in the Niger Republic is an internal affair. Carlos stated that no Nigerian soldier is worth losing in the crisis and that Nigeria should withdraw from the economic countries of West African states. If the original body insists that Nigeria must take military action against Niger Republic, Niger Republic is at our backyard and Nigeria should not join ECOWAS plan of military invasion. If the US, France and UK want war in Niger, they can send their own people. Nigeria can support with finance but not with our soldiers. No Nigerian soldier deserves to die in another country because of war. Fighting a war in Niger Republic is not necessary as no one is sure of the sponsors and how it would end. Nigeria, US and France can intervene in Niger by giving them between one year and six months to hand over to a new government. If ECOWAS would cost Nigeria the peace it needs, there's nothing wrong pulling out of ECOWAS. Nigeria is a sovereign nation and the concerns of its people matters most. I am appealing to the conscience of the Niger ruling military junta to release the outstanding president, Mohamed Bazoum, and allow him to go on exile to another country. No one will bring war to you if you release him and his family because it's not necessary. The leaders should also plan a transitional program that will see to the return of civil rule in earnest. Break in. ECOWAS has ordered its standby force to restore constitutional order in Niger Republic. ECOWAS Omar Ali Toure made the declaration earlier at the ECOWAS Extraordinary Meeting in Abuja today. The body also called on African Union, AU, partner countries and institutions to support the resolution taken by ECOWAS to restore constitutional order in Niger by force. ECOWAS said all efforts made to dialogue with Niger Republic's military junta have been defiantly rejected by the coup leaders and that they condemn the continuous detention of the outstanding former president of Niger, Mohamed Bazoum, and his family members. Part of the ECOWAS resolution reads, direct the committee of the chief of defense staff to activate the ECOWAS stand by force with all its elements immediately. Order the deployment of the ECOWAS stand by force to restore constitutional order in the Republic of Niger. ECOWAS leaders have ordered immediate invasion of Niger charging the regional bodies stand by force to restore constitutional order following the seizure of power in the military coup late last month. President of ECOWAS, Omar Aliu Torre, made the declaration during a meeting of the organization on Thursday afternoon. We direct the Committee of Defense Staff, the Committee of Defense Staff, to activate the ECOWAS standby force with all its elements immediately, Mr. Torres said, adding that the action was to restore constitutional order in the Republic of Niger. ECOWAS Chairman President Bola Tinubu of Nigeria has said the ongoing political crisis in Niger Republic was a threat to the stability of Nigeria and other West African countries. The second extraordinary summit on the sociopolitical situation in the Republic of Niger held in Abuja open Thursday. Present at the summit are presidents of Guinea-Bissau, Senegal, Cote d'Ivoire, Ghana, Benin, Sierra Leone and Togo while Liberia and the Gambia were presented by their foreign ministers. The announcement came 
despite widespread warning that an invasion could plunge sub-Sahara Africa into tomorrow, as well as doubts among Western leaders that the alliance can pull off the operation in a timely manner. The United States, France, and others have expressed support for the efforts of ECOWAS in resolving the crisis. Meanwhile, Niger's military junta had earlier announced a new government in Thorsi, naming Ali Mohammed Lamin Zain Prime Minister to lead other 21 new ministers forming the new government. Ici, à rappeler que ça fait plus de 10 ans que le Burkina Faso, le Mali et le Niger gérons les conséquences négatives, conséquences socio-économiques, conséquences sécuritaires, conséquences politiques, conséquences humanitaires de l'aventure hasardeuse de l'OTAN en Libye. Bien entendu, se pose la question, si ça nous a pris 10 ans, accepter encore une autre aventure la même nature au Niger nous prendrait combien d'années On ne sait pas, 20 ans, 30 ans, 40 ans, 50 ans. Une chose est sûre, le président Goïta et le président Traoré ont clairement dit non, non et non. Nous n'accepterons pas d'intervention militaire au Niger. Il en va de notre survie. Et bien entendu, les chefs d'État du Mali et du Burkina ont pris la ferme décision de laisser des actifs et non des passifs aux générations futures. À l'endroit de la CDAO, nous avons deux messages. Le premier message, c'est que nous leur demandons très clairement de cesser d'affamer nos peuples. Nous n'avons pas besoin de sanctions. Je pense qu'il y a énormément d'accès de souffrance que nos populations traversent. Le deuxième message, qui est également un message important, nous apprécions bien les ultimatums. Je pense que la CDAO se trompe lourdement de destinataires. Il faudra adresser ces ultimatums au groupe terroriste. Et ça fait dix ans que nous attendons cela. Je pense que nous serons très heureux pour une fois que ces ultimatums soient adressés au groupe terroriste. Ensuite, à l'endroit du peuple frère du Niger, ce sont des moments difficiles. Le Mali et le Burkina Faso ont traversé des épreuves similaires. Nous tenons à leur rassurer très fermement de notre soutien et de notre solidarité. Et restons résilients et stoïques pour reprendre les propos de son Excellence le Colonel Azimé Goïta. Tout ce qui est substantiel et positif ne peut s'obtenir dans la facilité. S'il plaît à Dieu, nous vaincrons.